And welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, I want to talk about e-bike motors. Electric bike motors. Specifically, How many miles can you get out of a, a motor? So I'm talking the original motor untouched, just buy the bike or buy the motor and just ride. So over the course of however long the motor lasts, time-wise, I'm just curious as to how many miles a motor will last. So I don't know the answer to this question. I'm just hoping that somebody out there can chime in because I, I am curious about this. Just thinking about it today because looking down at my mileage on the Lyric Graffiti, which I'm on right now riding, the mileage on it has just uh, hit 242 miles and I'm thinking you know it doesn't take long to put miles up on a bike and I'm thinking how far can you go you know how many miles can you get from a motor you know like that is it uh Is it a difference uh, as to what kind of motor? Probably the brand name. I'm sure there's better motors than others. But let's assume we have a average motor out there like that is on most of our bikes. Even like a Bafang. I'm not sure what motor uh, this is here on the Graffiti, but I know it's gearless. And I am curious too as to whether it makes a difference, whether it's a geared hub motor, do they last longer? Do the gearless hub motors last longer? Or mileage wise, do you get more miles in the lifespan of the motor? Or is a mid drive the one that's going to give you the most longevity? Just a curious question I had today. I was thinking, oh, what can I talk about today on the ride? And I look down at my mileage and thinking, wow, it's almost it's closing in on 250 miles already on the Lyric Graffiti. And I'm thinking, you know, I wonder, we've talked about batteries and how, how long they last. But I've never heard anybody speak about the motor and how long your motor will last. So if you have any uh, thoughts on this topic, or maybe in fact you know how far you can get on average. I mean, it's, every motor is going to be different, I'm sure, but just what is the average uh, you can get on a motor, you know, like... Like, can you go 3,000 miles? Can you go 5,000 miles? 8,000 miles? I've never had a bike yet long enough to know, um, but I'm sure there's folks out there that have been riding a lot longer than I have I've been riding an electric bike for probably four years maybe now that I got my uh, it's either three and a half or four and a half because I got my bike at first bike the Rad Rover on uh, a Black Friday sale, and I, can, I always forget whether I got it uh, four years or five years now coming up. So uh, anyway, yeah, it's an interesting question though, like how many miles can you get? And does it make a difference? Is the mid-drive the motor that's gonna give you the most?
anyway yeah if you have a um, any knowledge of this or you want to chime in with a guess go ahead and leave me a comment in the uh, comment section I'd be uh, interested to hear from you Another question would be Will the motor outlive the battery or batteries? My guess is The motor is probably going to outlive the batteries, but I don't know if that's true or not That's just a guess if I was guessing I could be dead wrong like I say, I don't know For sure though what the which one would go first but that's another question you can uh, chime in on if you uh, if you maybe know or want to give a guess yourself as I quickly uh, am leading up to uh, 250 miles on the graffiti One more question would be If you own this very bike, if you own the Lyric Graffiti How many miles do you have on your bike so far? I'm sure there's people out there that have got A lot more miles on their graffiti than I do, but One thing is for sure You can sure knock off the miles in a hurry on an electric bike It doesn't take long for the miles to uh, pile up. I took a quick little look at my uh, tires today here to see how they're doing and they seem to be so far so good. Still waiting for some uh, nicer weather here. It's, it looks nice out today, but it's been a cool one again. Just We're just having a late arrival of spring is all. In uh, one of the future videos coming up down the line here, not too far, hopefully away, waiting for just a little bit nicer weather, but I want to do a uh, Review on the bike here on the Lyric Graffiti because I haven't done a real review on it. I've done a First ride impression If you haven't checked that video out, you can go ahead and check that out. It's a little further back in the videos and uh, This bike is one of those bikes for me anyway, the second I hopped on it for my very first ride, and that video was truly my first ride. I mean, I I wanted to make sure I recorded myself riding it for the first time and having you, the viewer, watch it as well at the same time. I thought it would be kind of neat to, to uh, give you my impression as I'm riding it uh, the first time, so. But uh, I was going to say that uh, I could tell from the very first time I hopped on the bike and started riding it This is going to be a wonderful bike. I could I, I just could tell by the, the feel of it when I got on it and started riding it It's an absolute joy to ride and I'll say that every single time I get on it because it truly is I mean, I can't speak for everyone else. This is just my own personal opinion, but that's the way I feel about it. And I wish that, I wish all our, all other bike uh, e-bike enthusiasts would uh, could get a chance to ride 
every bike out there, which I know is impossible, but you know what I mean. I, I'd like everyone to get a test ride of several different bikes. I think the more bikes you ride, I think the more you can tell pretty quick if you want to compare it to another bike that you have, you know, or you've ridden. But sometimes if you haven't ridden for a while and you get back on that bike, you kind of do forget a little bit what that bike was like to ride. You know, you're like, if I don't ride this one, if I went a stretch without riding this one and then got back on it, I probably think, wow, this really truly is a pleasure to ride, you know, because I don't know, you just it's just it's just a great bike. So once again, if you want to make a comment on this video or any other videos for that matter, but this video in particular about motor lifespan, how many miles can we get out of our motor, whether it's a geared, gearless, or mid-drive. If you have an opinion on that, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And uh, I'll look forward to uh, seeing what you all have to say. A little bit of a wind when I'm riding, I can feel it. I think my windscreen does a pretty good job of uh, allowing you to hear me and not the wind, which is great. So that's going to do it for another video on the channel. Thank you very much for coming along on the ride. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you would like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for doing that. And uh, I'll hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just go ahead and hit the notification bell and you're in. Next time the video, a video comes up on the channel, which is for the most part every day, or it's been for a while now, uh, you'll get notified. And... Uh, get first shot at watching the video and if you'd like to purchase this bike I do have a link in the descriptions it's the Lyric Graffiti so if you go to that link and, and put in the if you put in the uh, description or uh, description if you put in the discount code is what I'm trying to say you'll get yourself $150 off of the purchase of the Lyric Graffiti that's Oregon e-biker Mark all one word, Oregon e-biker mark, saves you $150 on the bike. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.